Hello, I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. This is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Staged releases on Android allow you to manage the inherent risks of a new release by making a new version of your app available to just a fraction of your users. And staged releases are now possible on testing tracks as well as the production track. To take a closer look at how staged releases work and how you can use them as part of your release process, head on over to the post linked in the description below. We recently announced that we are evolving the design of Wear OS by Google and providing quicker access to your information and notifications. Take a look at the post to learn about the new notification stream and how you can make the most out of notifications on the redesigned Wear OS by Google. Google Cloud and Unity recently announced the availability of an open source matchmaking project called OpenMatch to help you focus on just the matchmaking logic. That's the inputs and logic for selecting players instead of building a whole matchmaker from scratch for each game. More details and a link to the GitHub repo are on the post. Firebase provides real-time streams and async callbacks to do all sorts of awesome things in your app. Getting data from one stream is easy enough, but what if you want to join it from another? Combining multiple async streams of data can get complex, so we created a new JavaScript library called RxFire to simplify things. Take a look at the post for a video and plenty of example code. We're committed to transparency and a thriving developer community, which is why we started open sourcing our SDKs last year. Recently, we continued on that mission by open sourcing our first Firebase Android SDKs, including our Cloud Firestore, Cloud Functions, and real-time database SDKs. The GitHub link is on the post. To help you ship secure cryptographic code, we developed Tink, a multi-language, cross-platform cryptographic library. At Google, Tink is already being used to secure the data of products such as AdMob, Google Pay, Google Assistant, Firebase, and the Android Search app. It just recently hit version 1.2.0, which now supports cloud, Android, iOS, and more. Take a look at the post for some example code and all the links. It's been 10 years since Chrome was first released. A lot has changed since then, but we kept our goal of building a solid foundation for modern web applications. In Chrome 69, we've added support for CSS scroll snap, display cutouts, the Weblocks API, and more. For the detail and a video, head on over to the post linked in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Maybe they didn't hear me. Oh. Oh.